Hi everyone! Today we will be answering potential Java interview questions related to final keyword. So, without further ado, let's get started with the first one. How to initialize final variables? Final variables must be initialized, otherwise we will get a compile time error, as you can see in this example. They can only be initialized once, and there are three ways to do it. First one is assigning a value when we declare the final variables as shown here. Second option is to define the value in constructors, but bear in mind that if we have multiple constructors, we need to define it in each of them. This example demonstrates where we only define the final variable in one of them, and as you can see, we are getting a compile error. Here, we define it in both of them, and there are no errors reported. And the final option is the instance initializer block. Code from this block gets executed during the creation of an object of a class. Here we have an initializer block where we assigned a value to the final variable age. Can we change the value of a final variable? As we mentioned in the first question, final variable has to be initialized. But can it be reassigned? Answer to that question is no. You can see that we are getting a compile time error from Java when we try to change the value of a final variable address. However, we have no restrictions on changing the content of the address object. In other words, we cannot change the reference if it's defined as final, but we can change referenced object fields. Can we have a local final variable? We said that we can have a final instance variable, and the same applies for a local one. However, only way to set the value of a final local variable is by assigning it. Note that you can assign it anywhere in the block where it is defined, as long as it's before its usage. We can see here that we cannot reassign any new values to the final local variable. Can we have final parameters in methods? While we can declare method parameters as final, there is not much value from that as all arguments are passed by value in Java. That basically means that we always have a copy of an argument in the method and there is no point in changing it anyway since its lifespan is limited to the scope of that method. Only convenience is that if you try to reassign a final parameter, you will get a compile time error reported by Java as we have shown in this example. We can still change the content if an object has been passed. What is the difference between a constant and the final variable? In Java, there is no built-in support for constants. However, an alternative would be to define a static final field, and that's what we refer to as a constant in Java. As we can see in the example displayed, there is not that much of a difference between those two, except that to use the constant, you would need to reference it through the class, unlike the final variable, where you would need a concrete object. Can we have final variables in interfaces? To answer this question, we need to ask ourselves whether we can have variables in interfaces at all. How would we define them since we cannot create an object of that interface type? So the clear answer to that question is no. People often get misled that we can, as we can define constants in interfaces and think that those are variables. They are default in Java and adding final keyword to them is redundant, as you can see in this example. Can we override or overload final method? If you would like to know the answer to this question, you can watch the video on overloading and overriding. A link to that video is currently displayed.
Okay, let's move on to the next question. Can we have final methods in interfaces? Let's think about this one. Main purpose of interfaces is to define the construct of an API, which basically means giving method signatures which need to be implemented in concrete classes. And what's the purpose of final method? Well, we clearly see here that we have a conflict between those two. So the answer to this question is no. As you can see here, Java will complain when we try to use the final keyword when declaring methods in interface. Can we have final methods in abstract classes? Well, we already said that we cannot have final methods in interfaces, so it should also apply to abstract classes, right? Well, that's wrong. We will have a separate video where we will explain differences between interfaces and abstract classes, but for now, we will give you a sneak peek. Abstract classes can have implemented instance methods without default keyword, and as such, those could also be final. More on the default keyword in our video about Java 8. In this example, we see that abstract methods cannot be final, but ones without abstract keyword can be. If you try to add final and abstract keywords for the same method, you will get a Java compiler time error. Can we use final keyword when defining classes? We use final keyword with classes when we want to restrict any class of extending it. In programmer class, we try to extend final person class and we got compile time error. Can abstract classes and interfaces be final? In previous question, we said that classes in general can be final and what we accomplished with that. So with that in mind, we shouldn't really be able to declare abstract classes and interfaces as final, because if you think about it, the whole purpose of those two is to be extended or implemented. So what do you think these red lines are all about? Well, you guessed it. It's Java reporting another compile time error, as in many of our previous questions. Can inner class be final? In some interviews, this one can come up as a trick follow-up question, often misleading candidates that inner classes, in this case, are any different than a top-level class. Well, they won't trick you into giving them a wrong answer. Inner classes can definitely be declared as final, and as any other, they just can't be extended. You probably thought that we will say something about this example. Well, we won't. So let's move on to the next question. Can we declare constructors as final? Often interviewers ask candidates if constructors are inherited in subclasses. You should definitely answer no to this question because it has to have the same name as the class where it is defined and no return type. It is a special type of method in Java. So making it final really doesn't make any sense, as in a way it kinda already is, because you cannot inherit it, but instead you can just either call it explicitly or implicitly by the constructors of derived classes. Once again, we will use our well-known person class for showing what our IDE shows as an error when we try using the final modifier with a constructor's definition. Can an inner class access local variables from outer class? To answer this question, you should start by asking your interviewer which Java version is being used. Reason for this is because they want to test how up to date you are with the features in different versions of Java. Prior to Java 8, only final local variables could have been used in methods of an inner class. In this example, we defined an inner class 
in the fire format and its method that uses the local variable prefix from an outer class person. There are no compile time errors as at the moment of the recording we are using newer versions of Java. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it and you would like to see more content of this type, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below and we will try to respond as soon as possible. Till next time, goodbye.